it's like for Mike Trout to face Clayton Kershaw, Madison Bumgar, and some of these other guys. It's not, it's just not a surprise anymore. So there's also the factor of, you know, who are these guys? Well, what do they really look like? I, I read about them, but I see highlights of them and stuff. But man, what do they really look like up close and, and in a game and competition against the best guys? So, You guys gotta move. take this time to t show you how to make a track so right here on, on this icon it says add path so we're going to drop some breadcrumbs and, and make these connecting lines here and what's well, called a path on Google Earth but on your um, on your fish finder you're gonna you're gonna have it as a track so I can just create, now I'm using the arrow keys on my keyboard here to move because my mouse is being used right now to mark this. Basically I'm marking the, the river channel through here. And I can continue on and, and do that all the way up. So I get up in this section when it's got this shallow flat off to my left. I want to stay away from that. So I'm going to make this path. So this is the path I can travel. Now, if you're not real confident in how accurate this is, and obviously you're going to want to take it, take it easy. Be careful your first time running this track. But as you get more experience, you'll gain more confidence in in this being accurate. So we'll run it all the way up to the power line there, and then that should be good. Uh, what do we want to call it? We're going to call it uh, Channel. We can rename it later if we want. Oh, again, going back to it, 
just like your pins. If I right click on there, I right click on the I can go to properties and I can change the color of that that trail I can make it whatever I want and I can change the size of it so it shows up more or less so later on we'll put this pathway or this track on our unit and it'll show up on our map on our on our mapping screen and we'll be able to run that and not worry about running over the top of this but I've got these waypoints to tell me where where it is so when I do go over here and fish I can I can find that Now you could mark up all sorts of things. You can mark up the back side of this. There's there's basically a deeper slot on, on this side here. So I could make another track. Oh, it's a little dicey. I don't see a real good way in and out of the bottom end of this. But the upper end, there's definitely, uh, you know, you could make a track in and out to this. And then you, um, this would be tough to fish from this direction though. You're going you're gonna to be, be in danger of getting washed in washed into that so a better way would be to come in upstream here well we'll see we'll go ahead and make a track here and um and name this something different here call it uh Call it a slot. So basically, I'm going to make this in this little bit of a ditch here where the water is not too brown. So, in other words, you just see the, the little bit of color change from here to here or from here to here. And just make a note for yourself or understand this is not something you want to go run on the big motor the first time you go up and visit this. You want to check out this slot in person on your trolling motor and can kind of confirm what depths you have. Because again, every time you visit here, especially on this spot, depending on what, what water they're letting out of the dam, it's going to change the depth of all of this. Okay. I'm going to put a couple waypoints in there just to confirm. This to me is a uh, uh, some sand here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this browner, more brown color is, is some rock. So I'm gonna make a couple rock marks on here. I got an upstream and downstream mark. And I'm gonna make another, actually I'm gonna move this one. So I right click on the properties move that around, put sand there put sand here if I wanted I could make another um, track, show you what I'm talking about so I'm going to add path on here. I'm going to call this alley and I'm going to basically make that between there and there because that is going to be a sandy alley off of this rock. 
So again, you've got three different bottom compositions here, rock, sand, and then weed. You can mark the weed if you want. I'm, I, To me, I don't generally mark where weeds are in one continuous piece. I mark where they, where they change, where the variation is. So, um, right here, I might give another weed edge upstream. And another weed edge downstream down here. And again, I can't emphasize this enough. You're, you're going to have to really fine tune this, but this is going to put me in the area. It's going to put me close in the in the right location. Um, and I can fine tune while I'm on the water. Then I can come back into Google Earth and and readjust these waypoints and Inevitably, what happens is, is I notice something on the water that I missed on Google Earth, and I come back and look for more of that on Google Earth, make more waypoints, and go back to the water, and I, f I you know, re keep refining. So it's it's kind of a, a circular process. There's a there's a give and take that happens. All right, let's see another weed edge. So I'm going to give that a weed edge upstream. Right near and there's my downstream end right about there. I kind of like the looks of this in here, so uh, again, this is pretty shallow, and it's not something you want to get the boat on the upstream end of and get washed through so if you if you can access that you're going to want to access it from downstream coming up so i'm just going to make a an alley an alleyway point and put it right in here so that'll let me know okay i can start working the boat from the alley i can come upstream inside of this and I should be able to visually see all of this so I don't have to overmark it right now you can there's nothing wrong with it but I, I just think you'll be able to see this uh, pretty easy if there's even enough water to m maneuver in there okay continuing down this eastern shoreline now I'm I'm zooming over all this and that doesn't mean there isn't anything worthwhile here I just don't see anything on Google Earth that's worthwhile to mark there could very well be things that are well below the water surface that you're gonna have to find other means um, the only thing right is this right here this little point and flat could be important. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark the point. Just so I don't run by it or forget about it. Because it'll be easy just to forget about that whole shoreline and write it off. Okay, it's a pretty obvious point out here. No need to really mark that. You could very easily find something by boat up in here that this looks like it has a, a weed line out here. So I've got an, it, it's off the bank a little way, so I've got an inside and an outside weed line. Um, I might be wrong. This uh, I'm not interested in finding any largemouth, but if I was. If I was going to come back in here, that right there looks like a beaver hut. So if you were, if a guy was going to come back and work his way in there, again, I can see a way to do it and a way not to do it. So I'll just go ahead and show you what I mean. <clears throat> 
because again your your mapping's not going to tell you the depth of this at all so it's really easy just to create a create a way to run in and out of here now how you how you name this is going to kind of tell you whether this is a you know is that I mean I can run this track on my big motor or do I need to use my trolling motor so if you want to move or readjust things you just click on the last point you made and you can adjust it like that now you really kind of start zooming in here when you really fine tune this so I'm just basing this off of the shading here looks like a little trough running right in there and again I'm using the arrow keys on my keyboard to maneuver I can zoom in and out with the wheel on my mouse but looks like I can these are just weeds matted up weeds in here so if you'll notice um, uh, I'm just gonna call this uh, entry any place where this uh, weed growth is 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 the deeper section of stuff so I know that in other words right right here for example this is all shallow and flat and then the weeds don't you know the weeds need a magic depth it can't be too shallow it can't be too deep and that just varies from body water to body water here I can tell that you know if it's too shallow they're not gonna they're not gonna grow so I've got plenty of depth here. I can I can easily run in and out of there if I wanted to. And if I'm not sure, especially going across this, then um, you know I can put a waypoint right here to I can call it off plane. So I want to just remind myself to come off plane right there and make sure I can get through this okay on the trolling motor and decide if it's something I can run run on pad or on plane or even idle with the big motor so that's just one example and you can repeat that for as many other areas as you want to try working back in these slews in here